Hey guys, this is Andrew with BNB Technologies. Today we're going to look at part two of our four part mini series on demoing HP's Agile Manager, uh, or known as AGM. So let's dive into the release management module. So I selected my drop down, release management, and the first sub tab here we have is release backlog. So our release, we're looking at website release 1.0. Our application is our, of course, our online retail website. And in here, we have all of our user stories that we created in the uh, previous video. So first thing we want to do is we have our window pane over here on the right of all of our teams and our expected velocity um, work remaining. So this is where we would assign our user stories to teams. So we did already put teams when we created the user stories, so team orange, team orange, team green, team blue. Uh, but the, the velocity didn't update on the right side. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select uh, all of our team orange and we're going to drag and drop these over to team orange on the right side and now we've assigned the items to team orange and now you can see the uh, story points planned uh, for this sprint <clears throat> so the the window pane on the right is planning uh, your story points to each sprint so these will all be sprint one uh, you can go to sprint two or sprint three uh, but for this demo, let's put everything on Sprint 1. So let's go ahead and do the same here. Let's grab all of Team Green. And let's grab their user stories and let's assign them to Team Green. And then of course, lastly, let's do the same for Team Blue. And give these to Team Blue. Now, for Team Blue, we can see that we've exceeded our planned story points. So we're at 17 out of 15 on the first sprint. Uh, so we have a couple options here. We can remove one of the user stories, uh, or we can reassign it to another team. So let's grab one of Team Blue's uh, tasks, and let's give it to Team Green, since they're still under budgeted on their tasking. Okay, so now we can see that all of the teams look good for sprint number one. Okay, and before we move on to the planning board, uh, just a reminder, uh, the filters and the groupings are the same as the previous module, so feel free to play around with that uh, just to save us some time. I won't dive into that here, but very useful, and you can save favorites similar to ALM, so you can create a favorite, save it, it can be a public favorite or a private favorite if you want to share it with other users, keep it to yourself, uh, very useful stuff here. So let's move on to the planning board. Oh, and quick note, on the release backlog, this does show defects too. We just don't have any defects created yet. Okay, so onto the planning board. Uh, the planning board's a very useful tool here. You can edit the columns and rows on the planning board by using the drop downs up here. Uh, right now we're looking at the status and then rows are application. And our colors is set to theme. So we have an electronics theme, sports theme. Uh, let's go ahead and change that to team. So now we can see we have team orange, team green, team blue, and I actually color coded our teams to the uh, how they're named. So that's very nice. So on the planning board, we can go ahead and drag tasks. So let's put all of these from new to in progress. So we can go ahead and just drag and drop as easy as that. It's kind of a recurring uh, feature of a AGM. And then let's say that some of these features are in testing. So let's say a couple of these are in testing. And let's say maybe Team Green's been working all day and they have a, a task that's done. And when you mouse over the task, it shows you, uh, or I'm sorry, the, when you mouse over the user story, it shows you the description. Uh, we don't have tasks created yet, uh, but these are just user stories. So that's a quick rundown of the planning board. Again, you can filter by favorites, and you can change the columns, rows, uh, very straightforward, very nice that they let you drag and drop everything so you can quickly uh, move around your user stories. Okay, so I've moved on to the sprint backlog, and I'm just going to run down all of these in order here. So sprint backlog, we're set to the first sprint, and we're looking at team blue. So now, as we go through these different sub tabs here, everything gets more granular, kind of like the um, product backlog with themes, features, user stories. So now that we're in the sprint backlog, we choose a team, so we'll go team blue, 
And over here on the right, we have members, and each member has a number of hours that they can work per week. So I just have myself over here, and I can work 30 hours a week. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll grab one of these user stories, so golf clothing. And I'll go ahead and add a task here. So the task will be uh, create content, maybe. And assignee, we'll leave it blank for now. Estimated hours, we'll say five. Uh, you can choose a color coding if you want. So we'll save that. And now we have a task here, unassigned. I believe we can drag and drop to the member over here. So we'll drag and drop it to myself. And now we have a task assigned. Uh, or alternatively, to assign the task, we can click down here. And it gives us a drop down of who we would like the task to be scheduled to. Uh, the same goes for the acceptance test. You can create new acceptance tests here. And they can be passed or failed or not started. So let's go to golf, let's go to a different team. So let's go team green this time. And let's go baseball uniforms. Add a task. We'll say this will be maybe uniform sizes. And these are very um, general tasks. We would want to be much more specific. But for example, we're going to leave them like this. Uh, let's assign it to myself from here and let's save. And then this was a um, six hour task. Uh, so it updated over here on the right of six out of 30 hours. And also note that the hours I updated here didn't carry over between teams. So if you're sharing team member, if you have a team member that's shared on multiple different teams, uh, make sure to allocate the proper number of hours for them for the sprint. All right, that's the sprint backlog. Again, there's uh, filter options. And same as the other modules, very consistent. Uh, it carries with the drag and drop theme, so you can create tasks. And you can drag them over and add them to a team member. OK, so we've moved on to the storyboard. So we just looked over Sprint Backlog onto the storyboard. Uh, storyboard's pretty similar to the planning board. It gives us a more detailed view here, uh, except it organizes it by teams. So Team Blue, we have three user stories in progress. And I believe this user story has a task. Uh, that's the, bl the blue bar here. So this just lets us drag and drop from planning in progress done. So maybe golf clothing, we finish that one. And we can filter by teams and filter by sprints. So for this demo, we'll keep to sprint one. Let's go team orange. Let's mark a couple of these as done. Uh, let's go team green. Let's find some with tasks. So baseball uniforms, mark that as done. Uh, it does show defects, but we haven't made it to the defect management yet. So, of course, we don't have defects, any defects yet. Uh, so that's the gist of the storyboard. You can add from release backlog. You can add a new item, user story or defect. Uh, we have a refresh button, which is very useful. So the AGM refreshes every uh, few minutes, I believe, uh, but this just force refreshes it. Uh, we have a full screen button, um, and then a configure team storyboard button here. It uh, gives us filter options. We can show user stories and defects, or neither. Uh, we can also look by filter by name, ID, or assign to. Okay, here's our task board. Now, the task board's a really nice tool here. Uh, it filters by sprints and down to teams, so it's very granular. Uh, so team blue. We have a task here that we marked as completed in the storyboard. Again, you can drag and drop in this uh, sub-tab. So the task board, you can drag and drop. That's a recurring theme of AGM. Uh, it shows us our, shows us our different backlog items. So the, for here, it's just user stories. Uh, would also show defects, though. We can look at, uh, we can mark this task as done, look at planning. We can split the story. Uh, we can block an item if we need it to be worked on in a different sprint or for waiting on something. Uh, view details. Um, let's look at team green. So again, we have our uniform sizes task that was marked as complete. Uh, let's say we need to revisit that so we can drag it out. We have a remaining work uh, clock down here. So that's uh, editable. Uh, you can double click and open it 
and you can see estimated hours was six, invested hours got marked as six because we completed it. Um, let's say we invested four hours in it and update that. So it should update and show us that we have two remaining hours. It looks like we have to manually edit that here. So remaining hours two, and then our little clock down here updates to two. So this is wonderful when you have a lot of tasks. Um, obviously in our example here, we only created a couple, but when you get this task board full, uh, it's really nice to be able to drag and drop. Uh, mark tasks as done. Uh, when you drag it to completed, asks for a new status. So we'll say that this one's done. And that is the task board in a nutshell. Uh, very easy to use, very straightforward. Uh, over here on baseball uniforms, got marked as done because our only task is complete. Uh, we marked our baseball supplies user story as in testing a couple tabs back. I believe that was on the um, either planning board or sprint backlog. So when we carried over to the task board, it still showed in testing football pads in progress. Okay, and then finally, we have our sprint closure and ALI summary. So ALI summary is application lifecycle intelligence, which I don't have configured to my AGM instance. Uh, but if you did have it configured, then this would be a great way to look at um, detailed um, uh, metrics, um, data, you know, a very analytical tool here. So we'll skip that for here for now. And let's look at a sprint closure. So our sprints are weekly, so we'd close them out every week. And we have two uh, blocks here. So things that went well, things to improve. Uh, anything we mark that went well or needs improvement. So for things that need to be improved, let's say better defect management. And if that's a big item here, then we can convert that to an action item. And we'll assign it to all team members. And it creates a to-do list that you can revisit until all of these are complete. And there's a hide completed button so that we can only see what's still left to do. We could create this into a user story if we wanted. Yeah, so if you don't want to revisit the sprint closure and if it's a, a big deal, create a user story out of it. Uh, you can mark it as done. You have a move up, move down button, remove action item, and you can change the owner of the action item. So this is a very useful tool. You can create those out of things that went well or things to improve. And that is the sprint closure. Okay, guys, that's the quick rundown for the release management module. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part three. And we will go over the defect management module and probably revisit the release management module a little bit once we have some defects in there, just so we can take a look at what they look like. And then the last part of this series will be the dashboard and administration work.